Today in our video, um, we're going to discuss the number one reason why nerves die, okay? How do you test for it and what can you do about it, okay? So first of all, nerve death or nerve pathology is called neuropathy. A lot of people don't understand what that means that the nerve is dying off. The nerve is losing its function. Why is it happening? And the number one reason why nerves die is because of lack of blood supply. Remember, blood supply is bringing oxygen to the tissue. It's bringing nutrients to the tissue. And the nerves themselves have micro vessels, very sm small microscopic vessels that must bring blood to the nerve itself. That's one of the first things that is damaged when you have either uh, diabetes or some type of blood sugar uh, dysfunction. Uh, you have uh, also like chemotherapy or some type of toxin comes into the body, but you can also get it from spinal compression. You can get it from over a hundred different reasons, okay? And so nutritional deficiencies can affect this. Uh, of stressful, over long-term stress where you have constriction of the small vessels, decreasing the nerve flow or the blood flow can cause damage to the nerve. So how do we test for this? Well, we use a thermography camera and we got our, our mock patient here, Dr. Angie Franco today. And so we took pictures of Dr. Franco's just so I can show you the only acceptable colors on this is where we have a white or red. White or red are the only acceptable colors. Now I'm gonna show you a, per, a picture of a person with neuropathy. Now, this person has some new colors. You notice there's yellow, green, and blue, okay? And then you'll see there's some others. Here's one in the hands where there's an ex extension of the blue. The blue and the dark blue are the worst. Those have the most uh, blood loss and they'll have the most nerve loss and nerve damage, which we've seen and we've talked about in our last video. Okay, so there's an example of neuropathy in the hands. I'll show you an example of neuropathy in the feet here. Again, blue, green, and yellow, unacceptable colors. And I'll show you one where it has a tremendous difference where they have neuropathy unilaterally in one side. You have a healthy, almost healthy foot here. And here you have no red, no white whatsoever. It's all blue, green, or yellow. So this is how neuropathy can progress if it's not treated properly. So the earlier you catch it, the better. Once you have a proper evaluation, you know if you are developing neuropathy. You can catch this sometimes even before you have symptoms. It's one of the most important screening tests that we do in a person that may be susceptible to neuropathy. So I hope this helps you understand what happens, why the nerves die off. You have to dig in and see what was the foundational causes, and then those have to be corrected in order to restore blood flow. And that is what the in-office treatments that we do, the home therapies that we recommend, and the nutritional programs that we ask our patients to participate in that have this type of neuropathy. This is why they get results uh, they, by restoring the blood flow with the, the using all three of these types of therapies we have over a 90 percent improvement rate and though and our therapies have been studied in 27 different studies showing a over 90 percent improvement rate with this type of neuropathy so hopefully if you're suffering or a friend or a loved one is suffering with neuropathy get the screening let's find out if they have it or not and then we can go with how much damage they have and if so what's the best treatment to recover so I hope to see you on the next video where we'll go more into the treatment options. And until then, live life well and God bless.